a very good social friday morning to you you are watching y254 channel and this is why in the morning your favorite breakfast show we do this every day from monday to friday between 7 and 10 o'clock in the morning my name is hilda wadidi and a very happy international women's day to you so now in in the spirit of the day and as we commemorate the day i have some young people with me in studio who are advocates eh? and they're very young let me just put it like that because i remember when i also wanted to become an advocate i did not think i would be able to do it as early as they have so a big congratulations to them and it's about time i introduce them to you the theme of this year's international women's day is advancement of gender equality and women empowerment and the young people are here with us today to let us know what they're doing about this particular movement and why we should even have this conversation in the first place so please karibu nisana studio introduce yourselves and make sure you let us know where you're coming from let me start with georgina so my name is georgina ayuma I am 19 years old, a girl advocate and a plan international, and I'm also a youth advocate, so meaning that I'm advocating for both boys and girls, and majorly on girls, because I feel that um, it is time that we as girls stood up for what belongs to us, stood up for our rights, for us to be represented and for us to be seen by other people. Thank you. Okay, I'm Kevin Otieno. I'm a student at the University of Nairobi, taking medical lab. I come from Bondo in their county. I'm a youth ab advocate. Mm -hmm. um, before I joined PLAN, I did some youth stuff with the girl child in Garissa County mm -hmm. and in Migori County in Kuria. Mm -hmm. and then later, earlier this year, mm -hmm. with a team, I had a team. It's called the Society of Central Sakwa Scholars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did some youth program assisting girls, mm -hmm. and then I had a plan. Mm -hmm. I decided to partner with them. Mm -hmm. So currently, we are doing several projects. Mm -hmm. We are empowering girls mm -hmm. deep down in the village. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, mm -hmm. we the young mothers. Mm -hmm. We look for young mothers in the village, mm -hmm. and we empower them. We advise. Some of them are taking that to school mm -hmm. through the aid of Plan International. Okay. Yes. All right. You said? Yeah. <coughs> I'm Kamara Newton from Arakanivi County, a youth advocate currently studying at Meru Campus, pursuing mass media and communication. Mm -hmm. As a youth advocate um, in my area where I come from, mm -hmm. I've mobilized a lot of young people so that they can earn their living mm -hmm. in a good way. Mm -hmm. This is by ensuring that they are equal, mm -hmm. girls and boys. Mm -hmm. without negligence mm -hmm. and uh, in this case I've also tried to meet with the parents so that they will understand what mm -hmm. I'm trying to mean mm -hmm. to be uh, achieved mm -hmm. by their children mm -hmm. so I've even mentored many parents in the Raka where I come from mm -hmm. thank you you have also mentored parents I yeah. like that okay uh -huh. yeah. Um, my name is Jacinta Mwendo from Kilifi County. I just completed my Form 4 last year. Mm -hmm. And especially this time when I'm waiting to join university, mm -hmm. the issue and uh, the topic about gender equality and women empowerment, I've actually been trying to uh, uh, go to some schools and actually talk to the girls, ensure that uh, they know their rights so that they're not, um, their rights are not not follow the right way and that uh, th when they know their rights, illiteracy is really killing them. Mm -hmm. And they need, when they know their rights, then they are able to know what they want and mm -hmm. go for it. So during this time, I've actually, since now I'm not with my school life, mm -hmm. um, actually free. Mm -hmm. I try as much as possible to go to most of the schools and talk to them and um, try to empower them. I like that. In fact, in the spirit of, uh, of, of supporting, uh, somebody here has talked about rights and someone else has talked about mothers. And there's some statistics that we have here. We have um, uh, the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentists data reports that reveal that mothers in Kenya are recorded the highest medical negligence cases. So you can imagine when we are in a country where we are trying to achieve universal health care. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that somebody has talked about young mothers. So before we go into the details of that, let's first talk about uh, how you guys got involved in this. Why, did you, why should we have a conversation about girls and boys? Why should we have a conversation about equality? Why is it important to you? Let me start with Georgina. Um, for me, what I would say is that it's for a long time that the girl child has been left behind. Mm -hmm. when, you look, when you look at things like uh, leadership, in mm -hmm. terms of being represented in leadership, mm -hmm. uh, the girl child has been left behind. Mm -hmm. Now, let's 
uh, get out of the urban setting. Let's go back to the rural setting, whereby mm -hmm. a girl is only seen like a person who's supposed to stay in the kitchen, mm -hmm. who's supposed to stay at home and look at her after the kids, go to the shamba and do all sorts of things in the houses. But the man is seen as someone who is supposed to go work, supposed to be someone who has the voice to talk. When a man talks, a woman should not talk in the rural setting. That is what is happening. So I think it's time that we, as women, we stand up for our rights and even we bring on board other men who believe that the woman or the girl child mm -hmm. should be heard and mm -hmm. should be seen. Mm -hmm. Yes. I like that. Should be should not only be seen but also heard. Yes. And listened to. And listened to. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Kevin, let's 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 talk about how you found yourself in this line of passion. What what was it that brought you to this particular equality forum? Okay, first of all, mm -hmm. it's dated back in twenty sixteen. Mm -hmm. Uh, when I was out of school for some time, mm -hmm. and uh, I went for peer teaching in oh, uh, mm -hmm. in Garissa, mm -hmm. so I had, I happened to be in a school, a girls' school. It's Masa um, Yusuf Haj Girls Secondary School. Yusuf Haj Girls. Yeah, in, in Masalani. Mm -hmm. So, I actually I, I I was a class teacher. At the same time, I was head of some subjects. Mm -hmm. So I decided, I decided to follow up these girls. The, their performance sometimes were not good. Then mm -hmm. some of them came and told me, mm -hmm. you know, teacher, mm -hmm. uh, we we as girls, mm -hmm. in in a, in a, we are in a society mm -hmm. where we we are just seen as we are supposed to be married off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after we, we have reached our adolescence. Oh, yes. so they were not motivated even yeah, to read because they were told yeah, they'll just they were not be married, motivated to to study. Oh. Some of them would tell me, uh -huh. me, I'm just studying to get my my D or my something. Mm -hmm. Then I I go back. The, the the best some of them could do mm. was to tell you they want to join the the forces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I saw this and uh, my contract there ended. Mm -hmm. And they started to travel back home. You can hold the microphone like this. Then, mm -hmm. on the way, mm -hmm. I met a, a government. Uh, I, I was in Kuria, mm -hmm. and sometimes in Gold County. Mm -hmm. So, I, I met uh, this deputy county commissioner. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, we, we within these programs, mm -hmm. we decided to hunt for the F FGM. Mm -hmm. So through the help, through the help of the county, the office of the county, deputy county commissioner, mm -hmm. we decided to to toll down some FGM culprits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I was uh, like I, I acted like a snitch. So oh, so yeah. you have not a snitch, a spy, a, a proper spy, spy yeah, to make spy. sure that these things don't happen. Yeah. <laughs> so after that, that's, uh -huh. that also ended. Mm -hmm. Then now I get back home, mm -hmm. where we, we formed a group, mm -hmm. and this group consisted of uh, university and college students. Mm -hmm. So we wanted the girls and the boys mm -hmm. to reach the level we we had reached. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this group majorly. We we did some mentorship programs. Mm -hmm. We did some. We did some. Uh, we decided to collect these we put them together. Mm -hmm. the, the girls and boys together, mm -hmm. and uh, at least we, we decided. Like you know, when you are when you are studying in Nairobi mm -hmm. and you, you are a university student, mm -hmm. you go back home. Mm -hmm. People look up to you. Yeah. So when they t you tell them, let's do this. Let's. Do this, definitely listen to you. Mm -hmm. So we used this platform mm -hmm. and look for other our other fellow students from other universities mm -hmm. that reside next within our community. Mm -hmm. So here came Plan International. Mm -hmm. Since we had no finance, mm -hmm. we were just students. Mm -hmm. So they came in and now they they could assist us with the materials the transport. Now we okay. reach so many schools. All right, yeah. all right. So, so, so we decided to reach so many schools. <laughs> they, they even organized for workshops. All right, we have to, we have to, it's just a little bit short because we need to fix that technical hitch with your microphone. But in the meantime, we can hear from Newton as well. Why did you join this movement and, and what was <coughs> it that captivated you so much that you thought we should have a conversation about men and women when it comes to equality? First of all, mm -hmm. let me say, to be here, mm -hmm. it's not my will, mm -hmm. it's God's will. Yeah, it's God's will. Hallelujah. So, <laughs> uh -huh. For me to be here, I first of all faced a lot of challenge in my life. Mm -hmm. When I was informed to, mm -hmm. I nearly dropped out of school. Why? Just due to lack of school fee. Oh, uh -huh. So, on my way, I met with Plan International. They just <laughs> paid my school fee. 
Wow. That was miraculously. Mm -hmm. So after there, I decided because they have paid the school fees for me, I must also do it. Tit for tat is a fair game. If you mm -hmm. are helped, mm -hmm. help someone. Okay. Mm -hmm. I so, like that. If you are helped, help, help someone. someone. Mm -hmm. So after there, mm -hmm. I just, you know, I'm a person who likes to socialize with very many people. Mm -hmm. As you know, through socialization, you really understand the challenges and the problems or the norms that other people are facing. Mm -hmm. So as a person of interest, I just interacted with very many people, especially youth. And I heard that they have a lot of fear in their heart, mm -hmm. such that they are saying some works are meant for men. Mm -hmm. These works include mechanic and the wiring. Mm -hmm. They say that this one belong to men. Mm -hmm. And in my case, where I come from, again I see that there is a lot of female genital mutilation. Mm -hmm. This one motivated me a lot, mm -hmm. so that I can encourage these girls that they can be equal to um, boys. Mm -hmm. This work that we are saying that is, is meant for men, they can also do them and earn their living. Mm -hmm. This female genital mutilation, mm -hmm. whereby a girl when is mutilated, mm -hmm. she drops out of school because she, because she becomes an adult. Mm -hmm. And you, li you see that she yes. mess up with life. Yes. So I just mentor them mm -hmm. and tell them that they can also achieve more in this life. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, I was motivated in mm -hmm. this work of being a young mm -hmm. person ambassador. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would like to, wait, let me first go to Georgina first, then we, let's talk to Georgina, then I'll ask you the question I really want to ask. Okay, so yeah. Georgina, let's go. Jacinta. Mm -hmm. yes. Jacinta, sorry. <laughs> oh God, Georgina is on this side. Okay, so um, this actually started when I was in mm -hmm. uh, primary school. That mm -hmm. was in the year 2015. Mm -hmm. I was still in class 7, mm -hmm. class 8. So uh, we had to give the speech for, there were people from the Children's Assembly in my yeah. county, so they needed me to join the Children's Assembly. Oh, Children's Assembly. Assem we were remember the Children's Assembly. Yes, I was. I'm proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> so um, I had to give a speech for them to confirm mm -hmm. my confidence that mm -hmm. I can really express myself in public. I can now yeah. speak uh, in front of so many people. Yeah. And you see, girls in my school were so much afraid and they were like, will you really do it? Are you going to do that? Mm -hmm. Are you sure you'll do it? And I said, since I was the one chosen by the head teacher, mm -hmm. I'll make sure I will not let him down. So mm -hmm. I had to go there and mm -hmm. actually I made it, mm -hmm. went to the children's assembly mm -hmm. and then time came when I had to vie for the clerk mm -hmm. seat mm -hmm. and I lost because I was unable to uh, campaign for myself i had why no were you unable to campaign for yourself and who was your, your your what do you call it your running mate yes your running mate or your rival what was it was it a boy or was there any discrimination what was happening what i remember mm -hmm. it was a girl mm -hmm. but she came out so strongly mm -hmm. more than i was mm -hmm. i just <laughs> admired her courage <laughs> and the way she could uh -huh. uh, campaign for herself and mm -hmm. there i was and i could not mm -hmm. you know do that mm -hmm. but i said it's not yet over mm -hmm. they have to be a reason for me to be here mm -hmm. because yeah. i never actually dreamed to, for for myself to be in that place mm -hmm. and then an opportunity came for plan they needed uh, two girls from my county mm -hmm. to actually be in nairobi we mm -hmm. had um, some votes because mm -hmm. we we had to adopt the um, mm -hmm. SDGs mm -hmm. to replace the Millennium yes, Goals. Yes. So I actually got the opportunity, mm -hmm. myself and some girl in Bondo. Mm -hmm. uh, so we went and the experience was just nice. Mm -hmm. And that actually, um, it builded my confidence mm -hmm. more and more and more. Mm -hmm. It really built my confidence. Mm -hmm. And from there, I've actually, I just thank God for that opportunity mm -hmm. and I thank Plan International because mm -hmm. it has just been a journey, mm -hmm. not so smooth mm -hmm. a tough one but still we thank god ah congratulations and a big thank you to plan international it appears you're making a change for the young people in this country mm -hmm. so let's talk about some of the in fact i think i want to start with the boys for this question because yeah. i know the ladies will have a lot to say but i'd like to hear from the boys first um kevin yes let's talk to you kidogo when you decided you want to pursue this issue of women when you identified that those girls had no hope and what have you, and you decided to even become a spy, you know, to go the extra mile to make yes. sure that this thing is sorted, yeah? Yes. What kind of backlash did you get from your fellow men and from the society in general? What, what, what roadblocks did you meet? Did you face any discrimination and what was it? Apparently, mm -hmm. I've never faced any. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the question people come about, mm -hmm. Why? Why you talk of you talk of ladies? You mm -hmm. talk of women, mm -hmm. and then you are a man. Yes, 
just so, want to know how you, how, how so you respond to this question. I respond in this way. <laughs> like, uh, I, I, would, I would tell them, uh-huh. you as a man, uh-huh. You have sisters. Mm-hmm. You were born of a mother. Uh, yes. You have daughters. Mm-hmm. And actually, when you look at, uh, actually, when you look at uh, in, a, in a family setup, mm-hmm. those who those who contribute much in assisting the parents, mm-hmm. gen- generally, are the, the ladies. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I I would, I would tell them and ask them to look it in that perspective. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that they, they get the answer automatically. Okay. Yes. Hey, I like. I even like your attitude. If you just study the situation here, <laughs> yeah. mm? you'll get the answer automatically. She never can you Lisa. Okay, Dita, let's, yeah. let's hear your experience. What kind of backlash did you get from your colleagues or from other men or just generally from the society when you decided you wanted to take women on? Okay. Let me say that challenges are always there, mm-hmm. and in fact, when challenges are there, they mm-hmm. just motivate you. Mm-hmm. So. In my area where I come from, mm-hmm. I was motivated by one say that mm-hmm. goes, mm-hmm. when you educate a woman, mm-hmm. you help the society. Mm-hmm. But when you educate a boy, mm-hmm. you help an individual. Mm-hmm. So I was motivated by this mm-hmm. factor because, mm-hmm. by this uh, saying because, mm-hmm. I know that the boys or else the men mm-hmm. are pursuing a lot mm-hmm. to achieve in life. Mm-hmm. But you see the girls here have a lot of fear mm-hmm. that they cannot uh, enjoy in works that a men can do. Mm-hmm. So. In my case, where I come from, mm-hmm. there is this issue mm-hmm. that is the greatest backlash, mm-hmm. that is female genital mutilation. Mm-hmm. As you know, I try to fight with it, mm-hmm. but I met a challenge whereby mm-hmm. when you are trying to uh, fight against it, mm-hmm. and in fact you are going to that affected area, mm-hmm. the person or the performer of FGM mm-hmm. Sometimes you cannot get them, even if you report to the f- police. Mm-hmm. They are using a demonic power so that they can come in just an, uh, an, an, like a ghost, such that you cannot see them. So this one is the greatest uh, factor that I done me. Okay. Yeah. So in your, in, your, in your fight against FGM, you're finding it very difficult to get culprits. Yeah, because there is a lot of uh, which which doctor they are so that witchcraft. Yeah, witchcraft. Goodness, uh-huh. Yeah, so that is the one that they are using so that you cannot be able mm-hmm. to get them. Mm-hmm. So you see, to fight against such a thing, mm-hmm. it becomes a very hard task. Mm-hmm. Yeah, again, in security purposes, uh, you see sir, that some girls uh, let me say that they are traveling 14 kilometers mm-hmm. in the morning from their home to school. Mm-hmm. You see, the where they are passing across, mm. it's a very big mm, bush. Mm-hmm. But now, you see that I try to mobilize and at least talk to the government mm-hmm. so that they can put security lights in that places. Yes. The little clarion calls that I made, mm-hmm. but there was no effective uh, support that they just meant to me. Okay. So also that one is a great challenge. Another challenge that I met across, trying to ensure that there is no gender bias, mm. is that some parents do not want to believe in me. They are just filled up in their, mm, with mm-hmm. a lot of culture in their mm-hmm. minds, mm-hmm. such that when you try to say that, let's add the FGM, they will say no. In Daraka, that is whereby we, we are trying to conserve our culture. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you're also facing the issue of the culture is already there. And culture. also, even when it comes to FGM, there's also the issue of those mm. girls that actually want to do it yeah. because they think it's a rite of passage. Yeah. I can imagine that might be a struggle here. And, and also from the government, you yeah. see they don't have effective support. Effective support from the government. So yeah. that's an issue. Yeah. Jacinta, let's talk. What are some of the challenges that you faced? Or, or, or you can say that you're continuing to face in your fight, against, uh, in your fight towards gender equality. Um, one of my biggest challenge mm-hmm. is um, lack of support mm-hmm. from the closest people I know, mm-hmm. maybe friends mm-hmm. and especially parents. Mm-hmm. Because maybe what uh, you talk about, you're mm-hmm. not in terms with them. Mm-hmm. They kind of uh, don't agree to it. Mm-hmm. They still think that, why are you doing this? Mm-hmm. Do you really have to do this? You've mm-hmm. got to do something with your life, mm-hmm. not actually fighting, you know, for this equality for girls. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when you lack that support from the closest people, you know, mm-hmm. that you mm-hmm. expect them to support you in whatever you're doing, mm-hmm. it becomes difficult for you mm-hmm. to move on. So you'll not go ahead and uh, seek support from strangers. It has to start from the closest people actually mm-hmm. with you. And again, um, is the support from actually uh, 
fellow girls. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they don't, it's hard for them to understand what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You try to explain for, to them, but it's hard for you to join you yes. in, yeah. in it, in yeah. the fight, and actually to move on with you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I like the fact that you mentioned that that's a very big problem, and that's also the issue. Where, and that's also something else that men feel like that's our problem as ladies, because mm -hmm. even us, we don't, we, we tend to misbehave sometimes when it comes to support. Mm -hmm. However, let's talk to Georgina. Let's hear. Um, when it came to your, to, your, to your experience with the ladies and what have you, it's gender equality. We have mm -hmm. to balance even the boys. Mm -hmm. So since the boys have been gracious enough to talk about the challenges that uh, the girls are facing, we wanna, Jacinta, you're next, by the way, so you better prepare for this one. <laughs> what do you think are some of the challenges that the boy child is facing that you can do something about? Um, challenges that the boy child is facing. Mm -hmm. Let me see. <laughs> you have to think about it. You yes, know? <laughs> you, you know you have to think about some things uh -huh. because you've never thought about them. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, one thing that my friend told me some time back when mm -hmm. we were arguing about gender equality, mm -hmm. he told me that when mm -hmm. you go to these nomadic families, mm -hmm. the boys do not go to school because all the time they may be taking care of the cattle and you know taking care of the sheep and the and the cows and mm -hmm. the goats, so they don't get a chance to go to school. And I saw that maybe he had a point there because mm -hmm. we are forgetting mm -hmm. that in some communities some things really happen to these boys yes but then that does not mean that i have uh, joined the boys in saying that we should <laughs> not empower the girls i am mm -hmm. still on we should not we should empower the girls mm -hmm. because you know when you empower a girl you're mm -hmm. not making her superior than the men yes. we just want to have a level playing ground mm -hmm. for both men and women mm -hmm. so for me if someone tells me that mm -hmm. uh, you're empowering the girl you're making her more superior than the boys mm -hmm. i just tell that person that if you empower me, we will help each other in solving issues that affect our community. Mm -hmm. If you empower me, we will, we will create solutions for this country. Mm -hmm. I will not be superior than you, mm -hmm. but you will be playing on the same level ground. Mm -hmm. Level yes. playing field. Mm -hmm. but, I've, but what I've heard from you as a challenge for boy child is also education. That uh, most of them are also not getting enough access to education. And I think, Newton, you've also talked about your yeah. personal challenge. But Jacinta, let's go to you. Now that we are advocating for gender equality, where has the boy child been left out? Where, what, what are some of the gaps that you see when it comes to the boys? Um, uh, one of the gaps that I see in the mm -hmm. boy child, mm -hmm. especially with my brother, mm -hmm. some time back when now uh, my sister used to call when she's in school and she's like, I don't have pocket money. Mm -hmm. And when, when my bro calls, mm -hmm. it's like, he's a man, he can sort himself. Ooh. For the girl child, mm -hmm. he, she, she, she has to be sorted out, out first. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very wrong. It's mm -hmm. something that should be like, um, these are children. Mm -hmm. All of them are, the, the, the boy, the girl, they are mm -hmm. children. Yes. So you don't need to say like, um, the girl needs a lot of security. Mm -hmm. And while for the boy, mm -hmm. he doesn't need much security. Mm -hmm. He can actually go to the marketplace and stay for whatever time, something bad could happen to yes, him. Yes. He's also a child, so we've got to protect both. Mm -hmm. And what, as we are saying, we're trying to uh, create a level mm -hmm. playing ground mm -hmm. for all of us. So it's something that should be taken care of. I like so. the fact that you said that, yeah, from what I've gotten from you, that it starts at home also. When we start doing, when we start dividing, we have biasness towards girls, towards boys, then people grow up with this mentality that we are different and we cannot be the same. So as and much I, as... Just a minute. And yes. I, just to add on what Jacinta has said, mm -hmm. I think the biggest gap is that we are educating the girl mm -hmm. on why we should empower her yes. and we are not educating the, the boy yes. on why we should empower the girl. Mm -hmm. So the boy child is left behind to just have a very funny mental picture of <laughs> empowering the girl. <laughs> So, uh -huh. I think as we are also empowering the girls, mm -hmm. the boys should also be educated on the importance of empowering the girl child. Mm -hmm. Yes. Again, I like that. Mm -hmm. That's where you see that uh, we have somehow concentrated in uh, equality in ensuring that the girls mm -hmm. have been equal to boys mm -hmm. and we have uh, failed to realize that even the boys mm -hmm. want maximum concentration. Yes. So that's why you see that uh, in the streets most of the people that you see that they have dropped out of schools taking at blues at several drugs. You boys. see they are boys. Yes. This is because we have tried to concentrate to girls much mm -hmm. and then we have forgotten then the, that the, even the boys mm -hmm. want also that care. Mm -hmm. In my case, I met a boy mm -hmm. who was kidnapped by uh, an old woman. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was uh, diagnosed with the gonorrhea that uh, she received, he, he had received from the man, mm -hmm. from the woman. Mm -hmm. So now you can see that 
if the uh, government or the local administration or the Kenyan people mm -hmm. are concentrating to ensure that there is gender equality. Mm -hmm. There cannot be such cases of uh, boys being kidnapped mm -hmm. or there cannot be rapist issues like that one mm -hmm. because they will con con concentrate to both of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So even the boys needs um, attention a lot. The boys but, need attention. But, but yeah. I really appreciate Plan International because mm -hmm. they are bringing boys on board on mm -hmm. issues to yeah. do with girl empowerment. So mm -hmm. that, for example, right now, mm -hmm. we have Newton and, and Kevin. Kevin yes. They are on board. They are talking about why girls are being empowered, why mm -hmm. should we should empower them. So mm -hmm. Plan International has really done a lot in bringing on board boys to discuss about girls' issues. Mm -hmm. Yes, Kevin, yes. let's talk. What are the gaps that you think the boys are facing? What are some of the gaps that... I like the fact that he's talked about the... the the big the biggest incidences we have of drug use are among young boys mm -hmm. would you have anything to comment when it comes to that okay so for example where i come from mm -hmm. uh, you find that the major economic activity we have is fishing fishing mm -hmm. yes ah yes at your western. <laughs> mm -hmm. so uh -huh. you find that uh, at class three mm -hmm. a child a boy will, will definitely start going to the lake mm -hmm. yeah some of them mm -hmm. By the time this boy reaches primary seven, mm -hmm. armor eight, mm -hmm. he's a, a qualified fisherman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, uh -huh. for the mm -hmm. for the girls, mm -hmm. okay, they will always remain at home doing mm -hmm. the course. Mm -hmm. But let's say, for example, now when uh, we have two people, mm -hmm. they are, they have uh, they have done their exams mm -hmm. now they need to take to school. Yes. Yes. So here, okay, it was way back then mm -hmm. we would take the boys, the boy, mm -hmm. the boy to school. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, you find that they would they would tell the boy, the boy child, mm -hmm. to maybe if it's class eight, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and then the girl to, to continue. Oh, yes. And now that is the the, the aspect of equality is mm -hmm. not there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when we come to punishment, mm -hmm. you know, man is to air and. Uh, Children, they, they mess here. And yes, there. yes. And parents are here to take control mm -hmm. and the community. Mm -hmm. too, the sentiments will be, even if there were two of them, the same, the same mistake, yes. or the girl was the one who, who, who has done the mistake, mm -hmm. they will just say, the son of so and so, mm -hmm. uh, the son of so and so has done this. Mm -hmm. And then they will be forgetting. That there is a girl picture, there is a character, there is a girl in this picture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the punishment will 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 be will be thrust on the boy child. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so there is an unfair punishment yeah. issue when it comes unfair, to gender uh, also. Unfair punishment. I like the fact that you mentioned unfair punishment. Let me run straight back to the ladies. Ladies, um, mm -hmm. there is a match. There is a match today uh, that is protesting a uh, femicide. Femicide, in case you don't know, is the killing of women and girls, especially when it's done by a man. And we've been seeing a lot of cases like this. Uh, in the, in the past few in the past few months in the media we've lost so many women even mm -hmm. young women for that matter and i just wanted to understand from you these women most of them were seen as the villain you see like they were villainized yet they were too when some of these uh, crimes were happening i'd like to hear your opinion on how women are, are painted by the society when something goes wrong um when something like that happens mm -hmm. they, they try to pick on the woman yes. rather than the, 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 the person mm -hmm. who, who did it. Yes. So it looks like um, it's, it's the woman who mm. was wrong on the yes. whole idea yes. and they don't even take time to understand how this situation actually started. Yes. But they pick on her yes. and they don't blame the other person. Yes. So I think it's kind and fair to her because mm -hmm. even before you start to judge someone, you yes. should actually understand the situation. Yes. What yes. brought up to this yes what actually what really happens mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but our, our society mm -hmm. is even our uh, you've had in most cases if something if um uh, mm -hmm. sorry to, to use this example mm -hmm. but if a man mm -hmm. uh, cheats on the on the wife mm -hmm. it's not that bad yes. to the society yes but when the woman cheats on their husband yes it's, it's really horrible yes mm -hmm. you are actually given all sorts of names yes. you a prostitute yes. whatever yes. but i think it's high time mm -hmm. we, we start to understand these situations mm -hmm. before actually we start to judge them mm -hmm. to 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 just throw whatever whatever harsh Rocks words in, yes. you know mm -hmm. all those things mm -hmm. so 
It's unfair. It's so unfair. Okay. okay, we need to wind this up, so we need to get to give your responses real quick. Uh -huh. Okay, <coughs> let me say that uh, mm -hmm. though we are saying that uh, sometimes the women mm -hmm. are being killed, mm -hmm. you see that kuna msemo wa kiswahili usemao, mtoto mleave divi ya kuavyo. So, you cannot tell me that we are our parents, that's why we are, Plan International is introducing mm -hmm. the youths Mm -hmm. to mentor the rest, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So to start from the grassroots. Mm -hmm. When the child is born, mm -hmm. he is mentored mm -hmm. on the principles and the discipline mm -hmm. that he is supposed to follow so that he cannot meet himself yes. entering in such a deep mm, mm, pit yes. of problems yes. or struggles in life. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm saying, mm -hmm. as a parent, mm -hmm. you need to have a lot of mentorship sessions mm -hmm. with your child. Both of them, your Both daughter of them. and your son. Both of them. Okay, great. All right, Kevin. Quickly, quickly, we'd like to hear your, your comment when it comes to the current deaths and the unfair punishment or reputation or punishment. Oh, wait, in fact, you brought it up. <laughs> let, me, let me start with it. Um, I just like to give an example. Uh -huh. If a lady dress in a very short in a very short skirt mm. and then she goes out there mm -hmm. and by mistake she's defiled, mm -hmm. maybe she's under 18. By mistake, there's no mistake <laughs> anyway. Mm -hmm. She is defiled. <laughs> Unfortunately, she is defiled. Uh -huh. People will say, mm -hmm. why was she in a short dress? Yes. What time was it? Mm -hmm. Where was she going? Yes. So the study tends to come up with so many things yes. to cover up for a mistake of someone, yes. a, a mistake that someone has done. Yes. So in my own opinion, I would say that before you judge someone, before mm -hmm. you say anything, before you start asking so many questions, mm -hmm. understand the di dynamics of that situation, mm -hmm. understand what happened, mm -hmm. understand the rights. If mm -hmm. I am defiled, I am defiled. Mm -hmm. There's no, um, there's nothing that can be compromised there. Yes. My dressing, where I am going, what time is it, it will still remain that I am defiled. Mm -hmm. So the society should really be keen on whatever they're saying mm -hmm. whenever something happens, mm -hmm. who they point their fingers to, mm -hmm. and let them be knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. I don't know who will give them this knowledge, mm -hmm. but I hope and pray that one day in future, the youth of this country will stand up and tell the society what things are right and what things are wrong. Mm. Yes. And how to be fair and, and balance your judgment. Mm -hmm. Okay, because it's about time we wind up this segment, Plan International. Thank you guys so much for coming to studio. Mm -hmm. And from what I've understood is don't only raise your girls to be good women. Also raise your sons so that even these girls can have good men yes. around when that time when that time comes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your social Friday. Please don't go anywhere. It's International Women's Day. We've had the young people here, the young men and women. A big congratulations to the boys who are standing with the girls when it comes to this particular fight. So please do not go anywhere. My name is Hilda Wadidi. Social Friday continues shortly. <laughs>